to uh, we have a break room. I got in there and shut the door for a second. And then I was looking around, the, I opened the door to see where he was at, and I could see him still shooting. I didn't see his face. And then I took off running out the front door. An assault rifle, and just we heard a click, and the lady next to me turned around and said, What the hell? And then he just started shooting. Describe that again, everything that you saw. He just started shooting. Uh, he had a long assault rifle, and he just started, you hear the, fart, the, the, the shots just start firing. What did he look like? I didn't see his face. Were you in a meeting? Yeah, we were in the conference, back conference room. Whoever's next to me we got shot and hit blood on me from it. Yeah, I was in the elevator. I just walked right past the conference room where everyone was. And then I came down and I had to grab something. And then on my way back up to the elevator, I just hear this loud. I thought there was like something like dropping because they were doing some construction or some renovations in there. And and yeah, I got up there and the guy was like, run, there's a shooter. And I was like, oh. Yeah. What just, floor was this on? It was on the first floor in the back in the conference room area. Kind of, uh, you can see there the middle um, windows right there. So like three over in the middle, we're all in there. And what, who do you work for? What company? Was Old it? National Bank. Yeah, I was coming into work, getting on the elevator. I hear what I thought was gunfire. I was on the phone. I just walked out of the elevator and into the garage. And then I heard multiple shots again. And I uh, just ran outside. And then there were two police officers here on Preston. They said, run for cover. So I just... And exactly the which building were you in? The Preston Point building right here. So it was on the first floor, it sounded like. What time was this? Uh, 8.42. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.